Hello and welcome to the University of Birmingham. My name's Ollie and I'm a fourth year business management with Year in Industry student here at the University of Birmingham. Today we're going to tour you around some of the key landmarks around our Edgebaston campus. At the moment I'm stood at the top of our campus at Northgate and behind me we've got the Green Heart development. The Green Heart features over 12 acres of open green space and over 160 different varieties of trees. There's even a Mediterranean restaurant for you to relax outside with your friends after a hard day of working. Also behind me, we've got the Teaching and Learning Building. The Teaching and Learning Building features a 250 seat lecture theatre and also our largest lecture theatre on campus with 500 seats. There are also over 600 different study spaces for you to work in in the Teaching and Learning Building and there's also a cafe. Welcome to our main library here on the University of Birmingham campus. This is one of six different libraries we have here at the University of Birmingham and this is also our largest. So we have over two and a half thousand study spaces to work in in here and we also have 12 group study rooms for you to work in during group projects and, and work projects such as that. This is in addition to a library cafe we have as well and we've also got over two million books stored in this library in addition to our vast array of online resources as well. Behind me here we have our 100 metre tall clock tower on campus named Old Joe. So the reason why the clock tower is called Old Joe is because it's named after the founder of the university called Joseph Chamberlain. There is a superstition amongst the students that if you walk underneath Old Joe whilst it's chiming, you will actually fail your degree. Old Joe also has a very large clock face on it, so large in fact that you can drive a double-decker bus just through the clock face. Throughout the year as well, the clock face does actually light up for various awareness events that may be going on, so it lights up different colours. And you can even follow Old Joe on Twitter, it has its own Twitter account. The building behind me here is the Aston Webb Building. This is right in the centre of our campus here in Birmingham. The Aston Webb Building was one of the first buildings to be opened by the university. It was opened in the 1900s. Within the Aston Webb Building here, the largest room in there is a room called the Great Hall. So during the First World War, the Great Hall was actually used as a hospital to look after injured servicemen and women. So there were over 520 beds in there and it looked after 125,000 injured people in total. The Great Hall is also used for when you graduate the university and it's also used for when you have examinations throughout the year as well. Within the Aston Webb building as well, it's also the Aston Webb Student Support Hub. So this can be seen as your one-stop shop for any support needs which you have at university. So would that be ranging from your international study abroad queries, your funding queries, and then finally a careers network as well. So there's a really fantastic careers network team in this building here so they can help with anything right from cover letter workshops, CV writing, all the way through to actually delivering mock assessment centres. So some really good support in the Aston Web. The building behind me here is the Brahma Music Building. This is also interconnected to the Aston Web Building and it's located within Chancellor's Court. So right in the centre of our campus here at Birmingham. The Bramall Music Building features the Elgar Concert Hall with a 450 seat theatre within there so that can be used for musical performances and also comedies throughout the year so it's a great multi-purpose venue. For that reason a number of our music students like to spend some time in the building here as well. With the Bramall Music Building it's located right in the middle of campus so it's near a number of different lecture rooms and seminar rooms as well. Behind me here we have our University of Birmingham Sport and Fitness Centre which opened in 2017. A number of these world-class facilities will be used during the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. Some of the world-class facilities we have in the venue include six glass-back squash courts, an Olympic-sized 50-metre swimming pool, which is the only Olympic-sized swimming pool we have in Birmingham at the moment, a 10-metre climbing wall and a large cardiovascular gym and also Olympic-style weightlifting platforms as well. The university also offers a number of scholarships for whether that be athletes coming to join us here. Whilst these facilities are also able to be used by students with student memberships available for the gym here and the university also operates another gym behind us in Selly Oak. Behind me here is one of our many all-weather floodlit sports pitches we have here at the University of Birmingham. A number of these facilities will be used during the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games such as one of our hockey pitches just down here. Birmingham University also has its own athletics track and Birmingham ranks in the top 10 universities for the Books League as well. This sports pitches here are also used to feature a number of events we have gone throughout the year, such as Explosion, which is one of our large American football games where a number of people from the community come down and watch a large game of American football take place. Here we are at the Guild of Students. 
This is the University of Birmingham's own student union with the aim of representing the views of all 36,000 students here at the University of Birmingham. Within the building behind me here, we've got Joe's Bar, a great place for you to come and socialise with your friends, perhaps after a hard day working on campus. And within this building as well, they also manage the running of all 300 societies we have here at Birmingham. So the great thing about societies is that if you come to Birmingham, you can choose to even make your own society. So we've got societies ranging from music, music and acting societies right through to Harry Potter society. So there's a real wide range of societies for you to get involved in. We've also got 55 sports clubs and there are also a number of different part-time and full-time officers at the Guild of Students who represent different areas of issues which you may be experiencing at university. For example, we have a sporting officer and also a housing and communities officer so they can deal with any issues you're having there. Within the Guild of Students as well, there's also a support body who can cover any issues you may be having with your mental health and there's even a careers network support team within the Guild as well. The building we have behind me is the University Centre. So this building here comprises of a number of different elements all at the centre of campus here at Birmingham. So we've got the living office. So the living office's primary function is to look after both those in private rented accommodation and halls of residence and they can also offer a service where they help you find your own rented accommodation in second and third years as well. There's also a number of our eating outlets in here. So we've got Wok Fresh just behind me and also a Costa Coffee. And at these outlets is where you can spend your meal plan allowance should you be catered in our catered accommodation during your first year. There is also a lecture theatre on the top of the building in a room called the Avon Room as well. We're now at the Westgate end of our campus and behind me we've got the School of Computer Science and opposite we've got the Murray Learning Centre. So the Murray Learning Centre is primarily made up of a number of seminar rooms so these are often small group teaching sessions which will happen throughout your time at university. As we walk on past the Murray Learning Centre, we've then got the Collaborative Teaching Laboratory. So this building is primarily used by science and engineering based students, mainly because within the building we have three different types of laboratories. So we have dry labs, wet labs and e-labs and they are all within that Collaborative Teaching Laboratory building there. Opposite this building, we then have the new School of Engineering building being built and that should be completed shortly for all engineering students. Behind me now we have University Station. We're really lucky here at Birmingham to be the only university in the country to have our own train station. The station offers fantastic links into the city centre with journeys taking only eight minutes from University into Birmingham New Street Station. The station is also planned to be redeveloped in the next, the next couple of years, so more fantastic news for Birmingham. Running parallel to the train line, we also have the canal network in Birmingham. A fun fact I'd like to bring out is that Birmingham actually has more miles of canals than Venice. Alongside the great train link network links we have as well in Birmingham, there's also great buses which we have in the city centre as well. Behind me, we have the medical school here at Birmingham. So the medical school is where nursing, medicine and dentistry students will all be located. Conveniently located next to the medical school, we have the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. So the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, or formerly the QE, provides a great opportunity for our nursing, medicine and dentistry students all to go on their placements within the hospital, as the university has great links with the hospital. You join us now at the final point in our tour. So behind me, we have Murhead Tower. This is where the College of Social Sciences are based. So the building comprises of lecture theatres, seminar rooms and where a number of the social sciences staff are based. Then directly behind me we have the arts building. This is where our arts and languages students tend to be based. We'd really like to thank you for joining on this tour and we hope you've been able to learn a little bit more about Birmingham and we'd really hope to see you on our campus in the future.